Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is gonna be on the intro to Hi Ren by Ren. Really cool little song. I'd never heard it before, but someone mentioned uh, Ren in the pub last night, and I checked him out today, and I heard this song, and it's such a cool intro. Now, I have written out the whole song, so if you want the tabs for the whole song, I'll put them on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description. But in this video, I'm just gonna teach you how to play uh, the intro part which I've already done a full playthrough of that. So if you want to hear me play through the intro, check that out, it's on a separate video. Uh, I'll teach you that today, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press that notification bell as well, and I do love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know if you've heard of Ren before, let me know uh, your favorite song of his, uh, let me know where in the world you've come from, or just say hi, it just helps the video get some more views. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, and like I say, have the tabs for the whole of this song, you can support me on my Patreon page. Link to that is in the description. My guitar is in drop D tuning, so standard tuning, apart from the top string, is tuned down to a D. Okay, so the first line sounds like this. So play that open E, which is now a D string, but we'll call it an E string or else I get confused. So E, and then third finger on D7, little finger on G7, first finger on B5, and then we're gonna do a quick hammer on from B5 to B6. It's like really quick, so it's just like a flam. So you've got, and then back to a B5, then back down the G7, and then the D7. So first bar slowly. If you can, leave your third and fourth fingers on, and your first finger on through that. And then just using your second finger for the hammer on. If you struggle to do that hammer on, just play the six. That'll sound cool as well. Into bar two, Little finger on E5, and I'm gonna use my first finger on G3. We play them both at the same time, E5 and G3. Then my first finger is gonna move down to G2, then open G, then D2, all with my first finger, so it goes. I'm then gonna use my second finger on E3, my third finger on D3, so E3 and D3. I'll then play G2 with my first finger, and then B2 with my first finger, so I just bar it across, so you got. And then an E5 with my little finger. So bar two goes. So bars one and two together. into bar three, and it's exactly the same as bar one. Bar four, and we've got. Which is A1 and E3 at the same time nearest to the floor. Then E1, then open E, B3. So you've got. And then open A and B2. Then G2, open G, and then D2. So bar four slowly. So the whole line slowly will go like this. speed. On to the next line and we've got this. Oh, 
Last note was wrong. Uh, but you get the idea. So we've got the first bar is exactly the same as the first bar on the previous line. And then into the next bar. This is probably the hardest bar of the whole of the intro. It goes like this. So for that, we're going to play E5. And I'm barring my first finger because we we're going to play an E5 nearest to the floor um, a little bit further on. So E5, and then I'm using my second finger on E6 nearest to the floor. Little finger on E8, and then E6, and then E5 with the first finger's barred. So I got. Then move down a fret and play E4 nearest to the floor. Then move down one more fret and play E3 nearest to your face and E5 nearest to the floor. And then play E3 where my first finger is barred. Little finger on B6 and then B5. I then move up two frets and my first finger plays E5 and I'm going to play E6 nearest to the floor at the same time. Then E5, B8 and then B6. So. So that bar slowly is tricky, it goes. Okay, up speed. It's pretty tricky, it's gonna take a little bit of work on. Uh, next bar, bar seven is the same as the first bar of the line. And then bar eight goes. So for that, Second finger E5 nearest to your face and first finger on G4. I then play G5 and then a slide up to G7 and then B5. So I then play E7 and G6 at the same time. Then G7, a slide up to G9 and then a B6. So bar eight. So the whole of that line slowly goes. On to the next line, and we've got this. So for that, open E and then G7, then open E, and G7, you just bend it out of tune, only a little bend, then open E, G7, open E, G7, so. And I love this little diminished little run. So, E3, then A2, and then you're gonna slide up to A4, and then D3, then slide up to D5, and then G4, and then slide up to G6, and then B5. So it's I like that little run, and then you've got open E, A5, E, and then D12, it's bending a bit out of tune. Um, I think he actually plays it on 17 on the next string up, but it's much easier to play it on the 12 there. And then open E, a little slide from A6 down to A5, then E, and then A5. So bar 11 goes. Okay, so the whole of that line will go. On to the next line, and we've got. So to play that, third finger E3, second finger on A2, first finger on D1. So you got. I then move my hand up and put my third finger on A4, second finger on D3, first finger G2. So you got. We then move the third finger up and play D5, G4, and B3, and then. G6, B5, and then E3. So bar 12 goes. So they're triplets. One, two, triplet, two, triplet, three, triplet, four, triplet. Then slide up to fret nine, and you can do, uh, use the same shape and play 
9 on the G string, then 8 on the B, and then E6. Then slide up 3 frets to 12 on the G string, and then B11, E9. And then slide up two uh, sorry, 3 frets again to 15 on the G string, B14, E12, and then B15, you're going to play it again, and then use your little finger to play E15. So the first two bars of that line go slowly. It, it sort of gradually slows down on that very last part, and then it plays E12, B14, G15, G14, and then you're going to play G10. A little bit of a sort of slow down on that. So the whole line. And then uh, the last part that I actually put on my intro part, I did the part that was going into. Which is just open E and then open A and uh, G15. Um, that's the end of the intro that I did. You can see there um, I've written out the next part. And actually I've written out the whole of the song. So if you want to learn the whole of this song um, all the way through, I've written out the tabs. You can get that on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. Okay, so let's try and put the whole of the intro together. Let's do it nice and slowly. Here we go. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out, as does giving me a like on the video. Press that notification bell so you can see when my new videos come out. And I do love to hear from you, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want the tabs for the whole of this song, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. A link to that is in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.